Hello and welcome to another online training session with Shiro Kashi Aikido. In this class I'll be showing you how to count in Japanese. Usually you'll only need to count if you're demonstrating one of the Joe Kata. And in my club I'm happy for beginners to count in English, but by the time a student reaches say third Q or about green belt, I'd hope they can count to 31. And certainly by the time they take showdown, they'll need to be able to do this. So the sooner you learn the better. Plus it's actually quite easy and something you can learn on your own away from the dojo. In a nutshell, once you know the rules and you can count to 10, you can count all the way to 99. And once you have it, it'll stick with you forever. The hard part is getting used to the different sounds, some of which are similar to each other. And then just remembering the sequence. OK, let's make a start. So one is each. The E sound at the end of the word is like punctuation, almost like an exclamation mark, placing emphasis on the ch rather than the e that you might pronounce in English if you had an itchy hand. So it's more like itch. Two is pronounced knee, which is pretty straightforward. It's not unusual for new students to sound out one and two as itchy knee. And to be honest, it's a good way to remember them. So moving on to three, three is san. So we have itch, knee, san. So far, so good. Four is pronounced she, as in she was counted to ten in Japanese. It's used in the name of the technique shionagi, or four directional throw. The word yon is also used for the number four, and in the name of the fourth immobilising technique, yonkyo. When I first started counting in Japanese, we used yon as four, because that's what the other students in my club did. I now use she, because that's what I've heard international instructors use. So one to four is ich, ni, san, she. Five is go, as in go on, count to five. So to recap, one to five, ich, ni, san, she, go. Not too hard so far, is it? OK, run through that sequence a few times and it should stick. Ich, ni, san, she, go. OK, let's move on. Six is roku. Roku. Seven is sichi. And it's also nana, but usually sichi is used. And eight is hachi. So from six to eight, we have roku, sichi, hachi. Nine is ku, sometimes pronounced q. And finally, ten is ju. It's these last five numbers that most students mix up. And really, there's no quick fix. Just learn them as a list. It's unlikely that you'll suddenly get asked, what is eight in Japanese? You're more likely to be reciting them in order whilst performing a kata, so that makes it easier. OK, let's go through six to ten. Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. OK, great. Now let's go through all one to ten. Ich, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Jew. If you can keep repeating these words, not only will you be able to count to 10, you'll also have all the words you need to count to 99. All of the numbers from 11 to 19 start with Jew, and then you add a single digit number to it. So for example, 11 is 10 and 1, or Jew each. 12 is 10 and 2, or Jew ni, and 13 is 10 and 3, or Jew san. And you'll need to be able to count up to 13 when performing the 13 count kata, or ju san no kata. You could probably work out from here to 19, but let's run through them from 11 anyway. 11, ju ich, 12, ju ni, 13, ju san, 14, ju shi, 15, ju go, 16, ju roku, 17, ju sichi, 18 juhachi and 19 juku. Okay, now we need to add a new rule. Let me show you how it works. So unlike English, French, German and many other languages, 20 doesn't have its own word. It's simply two tens or ni ju. And the same rule applies for 30, 40, 50 and the rest. So you would say three tens or four tens or five tens and so on. So let's look at these numbers up to 90. 10 we know is ju, and 20, as we just said, two tens is ni ju. 30, three tens, san ju. 
and then Shiju, and so on. Goju, Rokuju, Sichiju, Hachiju, and Kuju for 90. Great, now we just need to look at the numbers between the tens. And again, there's a formula for these. So let's go back to the twenties. 20 we know is Niju. 21 is two tens and one. So this is Niju Ich. 22 is two tens and two. So Niju Ni, and so on up to 30, Sanju. And the pattern is then repeated. 31 is three tens and one, or Sanju Ich. And usually this is as far as you'll ever need to count as the longest kata we perform is the 31 count kata, or in Japanese, sanju ich no kata. You probably won't need to count higher, but you could if you wanted to, because now you know the rules. 32 would be sanju ni, and 33, sanju san, and so on, and so on. Using these patterns, you can count to 99, kuju ku. 100 has its own word, which is hayaku, hayaku. Okay. There you have it, how to count to 100 in Japanese. But before we finish, let's just run over the rules again. First, learn the numbers 1 to 10. Add Ju at the start for 11 to 19. Add the number of 10s at the start for numbers from 20 to 99. And 100 is Hayaku. And one more time, here are the numbers from 1 to 10, so you can see what you can remember. Good luck learning these, and don't worry if you mix them up sometimes, it happens to the best of us. Keep practicing and you'll get there. That's the end of this class, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.